Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Digital Imaging Group's Digital Imaging Competition. This is an annual competition which we run within the group for our members. And for 2023 to 2024, we've actually had a slightly different format. So today is our what we call round six, which is the final. And so I'm going to show you to start with all the images and then we're going to welcome our selectors and ask them to speak as well. So I'll start on the showing you to start with exactly how the uh, format of this year's competition was. As I say, rounds one to five were flora and fauna, water, people, scapes and architecture. What we tried to do was to get you to go out and take new photographs. We really, really wanted you to be showing us new work. And the whole idea was that you could come in and out of the competition throughout the year as you wanted to, whether that was to enter an image or whether that was to vote. But we really wanted this fluidity throughout the year so that you could actually engage with the bits that suited you and your photography. So five winners from each round went through. So that's 25 winners in all. And the first place today will get this Raymond Wallace Thompson trophy. It's a beautiful trophy and later on we'll show it to you live. Um, but it is really, I think, but I'm a little bit biased because I actually bought it years ago. But I think it's an absolutely beautiful trophy and one I would be quite happy to have on my um, display cabinet. So today, our selectors are Martin Addison, FRPS, Carol Ullerud, FRPS, and Mark Reeves, FRPS. They're going to, as I say, be our selectors today. And one of the reasons I would say that I asked them to be our selectors was because we've got so many different genres. I wanted selectors that would encompass experience in all those different genres, basically. So that was the rationale for asking them. But we do thank them for the time that they've spent in looking at your images and in uh, selecting and commenting on them as they will in a moment. So to start with, I'm going to quickly just scroll through all the 25 images so that you can see them before we hear what the selectors have got to say. So bearing in mind that these are now not sorted by the rounds that they were in, they are simply just in a selection of, of order. So these are the ones that your selectors have had to choose from today. It's been quite interesting to observe throughout this competition the uh, propensity with which our members engaged with the different genre. Um, the flora and fauna, whether it was because it was the first one, was definitely the most popular category. And yet I actually thought that the people one would be. So it's uh, quite interesting to see what our digital imaging group members enjoy photographing. And obviously, because of as, as a group, we have no specific genre. So therefore, to have all the different categories covered is advantageous to, I hope, just about everybody. So what you're seeing are all our members' images. And these are only the ones that got selected by you to go forward into this final round. The member voting was the first time we'd ever trialed that. Um, and it felt a good idea. And if we had a joint fifth place, then we had an adjudicator, Holly Stranks, FRPS, who adjudicated on which one would go forward as the winner.
my cursor is on the screen, I am being told. Thank you. So that's the 25 images. Now I'm going to stop sharing a second and go back up to the beginning here. And we're going to invite Martin, please, to say a few words. So welcome, Martin, and thank you for being one of our selectors today. Thank you, Janet. <clears throat> well, I always think that you know, starting off a slide show with the nine backslides is always a good start, isn't it, really? Um, but I, lo I love the atmosphere here, the way that, presumably, it's snowing at the time. It's very soft, it's very gentle. Um, and you just have those three hit, those three... Um, Sorry, you know, three heads, Those three heads peering backwards. And I think the whole atmosphere, backs to the storm, um, it, it shows it beautifully. You're muted, Janet. Hey, am I? I said, welcome, Mark, <laughs> and thank you very much for being our selector today. Thank you, Janet. And uh, it, it's, um, it's, it's the first time I've done this with you, and it's been a real pleasure to see the images, a really interesting selection. And um, this particular photograph, uh, it, it's, it's a great location that the photographer has found. with some fantastic interest in this building and uh, beautiful colors and, and, and so on. Um, and not a bad composition, but um, the selectors felt that the, the processing has, has, has let it down a little. Um, it feels like it's probably been be done using some kind of HR, H, HDR high dynamic range processing, and perhaps that's been over overdone a bit, so that there's no real shadows in the image, which one would expect in an interior like this. Um, and and also the light rays just look a little bit unconvincing too. So, but. Not sure what's been done there, but if these things could be addressed, then it could be a, a very successful image. Thank you. And Carol. Well, hello, everybody. And thank you as well for being one of our selectors. Yes. Also, I recently joined the group and I've immediately uh, been <laughs> asked to do things which I enjoy. Um, so here you have an Avacit mum and a little baby, and it looks like baby is leading the way, lifting its foot and you know, racing off. Um, the picture is, is taken very nicely. You see the reflection and the birds are sharp. So, you know, I enjoy looking at this image. Thank you, Carol. So we'll now go round all three in turn, all three of our selectors in turn, and they will comment in turn on the next few images. So, a sunny day in the park, yes. I think this is, is, is an excellent image. It's, um, I love the way that the, the photographer has captured the, the multiple exposures and the people pouring down into or going out of this um, park. Um, and we have the, the bright colours in the background just to lead us through. Um, it's a very well, a very creative picture and it's been very well controlled. Thanks, Martin. <clears throat> Mark. I think this is a, a, a beautifully composed and taken uh, seascape. Um, I think it's been done with a slightly slow shutter to uh, smooth out the sea to some extent. And I think that's been very successful because it's taken some of the detail out of the sea so that we haven't got a competition going on between sea detail and then all the beautiful detail in the, the rocks on the shore. <clears throat> no doubt the original scene had a very high contrast range um, that the photographer had to deal with um, both in the taking stage and, and in the processing and that's been done very very well um, with, with, with lots of detail to be seen in the dark shadows and also in the, the highlights on the water so it's uh, a, a very nice result. Thank you. Well, another sea scene, a, a wave breaking, slow shutter speed. Um, it must have been taken in an evening or early morning because of the golden glow you see in some of the 
water. And I just enjoy how it's a slightly different type of image of the sea and the wave sort of coming up to crash down. Um, one, one small remark we had was perhaps it could have a bit more brilliance in the white of the actual crashing wave. Thank you. Martin, back to you. Right, a very pastel -y, gentle scene with some very attractive um, colours in it. Um, I think I like, I think the the delicacy is really good, um, as, as is the composition. I think where we felt it didn't work quite so well is when the colours leaked into the sky. So we've got a bit of blue cloud and a bit of purple cloud. Um, and I think that probably takes away a little bit from it. Um, not quite sure what the process was, but not entirely successful, but nevertheless, it's a very attractive image. Thank you. Mark. Um, obviously, another landscape scene here and uh, and a really serene uh, scene that the photographer has created here through um, obviously being in the, 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 the place at the right time and, and through the processing. Um, there's a real, it's the sort of thing that you can imagine on the therapist's wall or something like that. Um, to, to generate a sense of calm and um, and and the placement of the the dinghy or the yacht in the picture is, is just uh, really really nice as well so an excellent image thank you Carol. well we've moved away from the uh the seascapes <laughs> here we have an elephant having a bath um it's a decisive moment photo with the the dust the the pouring it over onto his back and um, the elephant the detail is quite good you see all the little hairs on, on the mouth and um, I just enjoy this shape of the image and the originality actually yep Martin yeah, this is a lovely <coughs> duo portrait um whether it's two fathers or whether it's one father, I'm not quite sure. Um, but the expressions in the faces that are quite very well captured, um, both having beards, both having you know hair, and both looking rather weather tall, weather weather worn. Um, I think that comes across really well. Processing has been well too, nicely shaded on the edges, and it's a real good intensity to the picture. So it's it's worked very well. Thank you. Mark. So we have a, a, a very arresting um, interior, interior architectural image here um, with some really interesting shapes and lines that combine well into the composition. Uh, so it's got a lot going for this. If it were my image, I'd want to make just a little couple of tweaks. I'd, I'd probably want to, if it were possible, no, I wasn't there, so maybe it wasn't, but I, I might have wanted to include the right hand corner of that bottom triangle that's got all the kind of horizontal lines on it. Um, and also I note that the left hand pendant doesn't seem to be hanging vertically. Um, so I would make those little tweaks, but other than that, I think it's a very uh, engaging and successful image. Thank you. Martin. Oh, no. Sorry, Carol, Carol, beg your pardon, Carol. <laughs> um, quite a striking image with the red chair that jumps out at you. Uh, taken in an urban situation and you can see the worker is having his rest. Um, it, it's a, a kind of humorous photo and um, you can let your eyes wander around. Um, one or two points to think about for the post-processing is the arm on the chair holding the, the paper or the cloth. There's something strange going on um, maybe the blur has gone too far so that the arm looks a little bit or the hand looks a little bit uh, detached um, because the longer you look at it, the stranger it gets. So I think that's a, a shame when um, for the rest of the images really sort of grabs you. Thank you. And back to Martin. It's um, a very creative image. 
um, one which is the photographer has, has actually created rather than taking it, taking a view. Um, lovely rich colours, particularly the oranges and reds at the top. And that's a contrast to the, the blues and the greens further down. You put together very well indeed. And to say, a very imaginative work, piece of work. Thank you. Mark. The, the uh, photographer here has spotted an interesting architectural feature of what I think is quite a um, unremarkable building in, in, in most other ways. Um, so well done for finding that and making a, a, a composition from it. Um, and the image has been very well captured as well. There's good tone ranges, good alignment of the, the elements. Um, but ultimately, as selectors, we felt that although it's been done very well, it just doesn't quite have a wow factor about it. But uh, but a very well done image. Thank you. Thank Carol. Well, we're back to the sea. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy this image as a slow shutter speed. You see that the groin is doing its job and breaking the waves as they come in. And it's a stormy situation. The clouds in the sky are coming in. Um, so, yeah, I, I enjoyed this image. Lovely. And Martin? A very striking image, this. Um, the, the, the use of red and white, very powerful with just the the variation in the book that she's reading. Um, very well, very well put together and um, beautifully clean. The, we, we, we had these pictures beforehand just to have a look at once or twice. And we, we all sort of thought that it had enormous impact initially, but having seen it two or three times, um, perhaps it didn't have the impact after that. So it's a real, a real dramatic image at first sight. And Mark? Um, well, there's a, a huge amount to um, to commend this image, primarily, of course, the, the, the composition. Um, it, I mean, it's a striking building, as uh, I'm sure most of us know to start with, but the photographer has chosen an excellent viewpoint to create this um, and presumably <laughs> waited very patiently for these two characters to be there in these particular positions, which work very well because of the, the balance and symmetry. Um, it's it's slightly unfortunate, however, that the brightest part of the image would tend to draw the eye, draw the eye away from where really where the main attention would you'd expect it to lie, which is obviously on 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 the ground where these figures are and towards the centre. So um, perhaps that's something which which could could be improved uh, upon. Um, and if you were to, to go down that route, perhaps also you might consider just cropping off from the outsides of the image to remove some of those distractions which are on the outer edges. Um, but uh, but that said, you know, it's it's it, it's a very striking image. And I think uh, assuming that those <laughs> those characters were really there rather than placed in Photoshop, then I think it's a great job of waiting for the, the perfect moment to open the shutter. Carol? Well, again, see. <laughs> At first I thought, oh, is this black and white? But I realised, no, no, this is a colour photo, even though it's very muted. Um, it must be also just before a storm coming, I'd say. I love how the waves are um, so, you know, pushing up and, and the colour is, uh, the light has been captured and the birds are really hunting for fish. And uh, so I also really enjoy looking at this photo. Yeah. Martin. Snowgrass, yes. It's a it's a beautiful frieze of grasses. And I think for me, grasses are a wonderful subject. And I think this has been the feeling of the grasses has really been brought over very well here. Um the, the way they cross over, there's no sense of interest. It's just a picture which you can enjoy looking at various aspects and I think it's a picture which you can live with I could live with this on my wall um, and, and happily enjoy it for a long time we did feel that the the background is a, is a little bit dull um, and um, 
maybe a bit more brightness would have given it a little bit more um, impact or a little bit um, more or brighten the whole thing up to make it work a little bit better. Mark? So um, this is a really impactful photograph. Um, and the photographer was obviously in the right place at the right time, but they also chose to point the camera in the right direction and open the shutter at, at exactly the right moment. So it, it's tremendous image in that respect and, and also a very pleasing balanced uh, composition that works very very well um, the only thing that we felt lets it down is that it is a bit mid grayish and that um, paying a bit of attention to the contrast but particularly um, the, the black end of the contrast range would probably give the image a, a, a stronger impact but uh, but otherwise it's it's, it's a really excellent dramatic result. Well, Rainscape in London Town. I fully appreciated the raindrops being super sharp on, I suppose it's taken from the front of a bus looking down this road and you see the lights of the brakes of a bus in front of you. And I'm wondering, do I recognise or should I recognise what this brown, this shadow is in front of us? Is, is that something to do with London? Um, so it's a typical scene with rain, and I guess you associate that with <laughs> London. <laughs> and Amsterdam. <laughs> Martin. It's a, it's a good ICM picture. It's one which, when well, ICM, the camera's not actually moving in this particular case, but it's a long exposure, allowing the people to, to move. So we've got very indistinct figures, which, which work really well. And that contrasts with this man on the on it standing still on the phone, only his legs moving. Um, so that adds a little bit extra, I think. And we've got the top of his head. Processing it could perhaps be a little bit better, maybe a little bit more brighter on, on the moving figures. And maybe with the cropping would have just brought the composition in a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom left, perhaps. We'd have just really focused in on, on the, the figures themselves, which I think would enhance it. But nevertheless, it's a really good, it's a good attempt at a slow motion picture, and it works very well. Thank you. Mark? Well, this is a lovely portrait of this hippo. Um, the, 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 the blend of, of warm and cool tones throughout the image work really very, very well. Um, and uh, the out of focus hippo in the background gives us context. So uh, we know this hippo's got a, a best mate. Um, and uh, and yet yeah, the, the hippo in the foreground is beautifully sharp where it needs to be. So it, it's a very successful image. Well done. Thank you. Carol. So you have a red lady or a lady in red on a bridge. And I can imagine as a photographer, you'd get so excited that someone is standing at the correct spot at the correct moment while you're there and sort of like, wow, I have to get the lady in the center spot. Um, when, we, we enjoyed that and just wonder though, could more have been done with the composition? Um, and the waterfall itself is a little bit murky could it be a little brighter? But otherwise, I fully appreciate that a photographer is happy with this shot. Yep. Martin. A very clean and precise picture of Tottenham Court Road. Um, and we really enjoyed the, the way, the clarity of the picture, um, with nothing distracting, everything, everything there. We had some concerns about the the perspective, really, um, the way the the um, it isn't exactly centre. It's just a little bit to the right, and we think in this sort of picture, you need it absolutely bang in the centre. It's only a fraction off, but I think that fraction makes all the difference. And just a, a little bit to the left or right, then I think you could have done that. Um, and some of the lines don't match up. 
but nevertheless, I think it's a really good picture. Um, and I do enjoy the, the fact that one side is slightly different to the other because it, it isn't just a flip, it's, it is real life. Okay, so that was the 25 that um, we've all enjoyed hearing what our selectors had to say. And what we thought we would do next is just stop before we do the awards as such and have a little look about the trophy, because this is actually a very important trophy for the Digital Imaging Group. It was um, bought as a result, as you can see there, of uh, a legacy that we had from a group member back in 2011. And once we, as a committee at that stage, I was the secretary and not the chair. So, um, but I can remember the conversation saying, oh, you know, this is absolutely brilliant, but we have to do something that gives us a memory of Ray, because he'd been quite an active part of the committee uh, or, or the group as such. Um, and so it was a lovely, lovely surprise and, and something we really wanted to celebrate. So we felt at the time that it was appropriate to use that legacy for really a rather beautiful, I think, but we'll come on to that in a second, um, award that we would give annually to our members. So these are the people that have won the award over the years. So they've all had beautiful images in our digital imaging competition over these part, this past period of time. And it's been an amazing variety of work. I mean, I do remember Marilyn's first image that won was of gorillas, a, gor a gorilla picture, a very big, impactful image that it was. Um, whereas last year's winner, Rachel, was um, a little clump of, uh, of, of trees in a snowy, on the top of a snowy hill, so in contrast. And that's the nice thing about Digital Imaging Group. We, we do everything, you know? We have all this variety within our group and it's wonderful to celebrate that. So I'm actually going to stop sharing just for a minute and I'm going to invite Ken to show you live the award. Um, Ken, hi. Hello there. So right. he's got it here with him and he'll now moan about how heavy it is. It is very heavy. This is the award. So I presume it's crystal. Um, it is engraved at the top with Royal Photographic Society Digital Imaging Group, Digital Projected Image of the Year, close enough, in memory of Raymond Wallace Thompson, ARPS, and beneath it we have the original DIG logo. But uh, it sits on a plinth. Oh, put that down for a second. And the plinth... Um, as obviously the RPS on it, and then a panel for the um, for you, the various names to go on. And when I know the result of the competition, I will scuttle off to Stonehaven, get it engraved, get it packed up, put it in this rather large box I have on the floor here, and send it off to the winner, who will enjoy receiving it if he can pick it up. <laughs> he okay. always knows, he always moans about the price about the about the weight of it. It's heavy. Um, I, I actually commissioned it when I was secretary, as I say, and it was designed and made for us by Stephen the Prevost, FRPS, and he has uh, a business doing trophies, etc. So I thought it was beautiful and I thought that it was something people might be prepared to have out, whereas some of the trophies that we win in photography, I don't know about you, but I hide them in the cupboard. Um, so this one, I wanted people to really enjoy and to see the um to see the actual image to see the actual trophy being used now i've lost my place in my slideshow so apologies for that there we are now i'll um, share and play from current slide there we are that's where we were so that's the people that have won it so far but let's go on now and see who has won it this year so Mark. So, so, Martin, no. I beg your pardon, Martin. Martin. <laughs> so yes, um, yes, I've already talked about this. I yep. think it's a lovely picture and it's got to highly commend it. So well done, David. So David is a photographer that lives in the New York. Um, so it's lovely to see one of our international members, not only just entering, but have, having some success as well. 
Martin. Uh, sorry, Mark. I'm getting them around the wrong way. <laughs> so another highly commended image, and uh, I enthused already about the uh, the calmness and serenity of this this image. Um, I can't add any more. Well done, Peter. And Carol. Yes, this is one that I thought uh, deserved a highly commendation. So congratulations, Morag. Thank you. And now, drum roll. Should have got Ken on the drums. Um, we're going to go on to the winners. And as normal, we will talk about the third placed person and invite them to come online and talk to our selector about this third placed image. So, uh, so. John, are you there? Hi. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello, yes, yes. Well, congratulations, John. Um, it really is a, a, a lovely, lovely picture that you have here. Um, I would more than happily put it on my wall. Um, and perhaps you might want to tell us a little bit about it, where, where it was taken and uh, uh, and perhaps the time of day and things like that, because it's it's, it's quite special. Yeah, um, so it was down at um, a place called Sandy Mouth Bay or Sandy Mouth Beach, which is, I think, just north of Viewed in Cornwall. We go down there quite a lot in the winter. From uh, I live in Osk in South Wales, so um, to try and avoid Cornwall in the summer, but um, tend to go down sort of in that sort of period after Christmas, sort of early New Year. And it was taken then. Um, and it was about, uh, probably about two or three o'clock in the afternoon because the sun started to go down there in the, uh, in the west. And uh, it's just one of those right place, right times, really. I did very, very little to it in terms of post-processing. I think it was, I, I tend not to keep a lot of information about them, really. Once, once they're done, I, they're, they're done. I, and I think I put on the on the notes I sent back. You know, once I finish or something, that's it. I never, ever find myself going back to things and making them any better, really. So once they're done. And uh, with this one, I... Um, I, I did a 16 by 9 crop because the original, the, the, the sun was, as it was going down, was blowing out the highlights at the top a bit. So I cropped it in a bit there at the top and felt that the landscape sort of letterbox format suited the image. And then I did a little bit of sort of, uh, a bit of, what was it, dodging, a little burning to, to, to bring out some of the highlights in in just to round about some of the stones. So I went right in and, and sort of just little bright sparks, I thought, around about rather than sort of bringing up vast areas. I thought I just wanted to bring some sparkle to those those pebbles and stones. So it's pretty much, to be quite honest, as I as I saw it. And it was about, a so it was a slower shot, but it was about a 30th of a second there. And the tide was pretty much in because some I've been down there sometimes and depending on where the tide is, you know, how good a shot you get. But on this particular day, uh, it was it was pretty well up there. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I was, I was quite pleased with that. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Well, I think I think you should be pleased, John. I think it's a lovely image. Well done. Well done, John. And the, you will receive um, a certificate from us. So watch for that. And uh Thank you very much for contributing such a beautiful image. Thank you. And the second place is Martin. Laura, Laura Dury. Well, congratulations, Laura. It's a, a beautiful image. Um, are you online? Yes, I am. Yes, thank Excellent. you very much. Excellent. It's a, it's a very, very imaginative image. Um, would you like to tell us how, how it came about? Is it, is it constructed? Um, Did you take it or what? Yes, I, I was, it started off, I, I was taking um, some ICM pictures of a poppy field near, near where I live in Kent. And, and there was a, a windmill in the background, which you can, well, I can see probably other people can't. There's just faintly a, a windmill in the background. And so I was doing some ICM shots and, and um, I, I was, it was in the evening and so the sun was setting. Um, and but then I, I do like to play around with my images um, and sort of create something something new. Um, so unlike um, John, I, I do spend an awful lot of time fiddling around with them. And so I had so, uh, I also had some um, poppy, poppy seed heads 
and some um, wild carrot um, heads uh, that I photographed on, on the light pad and then um, played around with laying them over um, and also added some more texture on it um, and, and just, just generally fiddled around until I, I got something that I was pleased with. So it's a matter of um, experimenting, but so it's not actually planned as such. You just start and think, "Oh, I'll do this and I'll do that." Is that the way? Absolutely. You yeah, it's a very good way to work. Um, yeah, excellent. Well, well, congratulations. It's been very much worthwhile. Thank you, Laura. Thank you very much. I tell you what, Martin. I I see this printed on a really nice textured art paper. I think it deserves to be printed. Absolutely. That, that would look gorgeous. I think yeah, it will be. Oh, good. <laughs> and I could I could have that on my wall very happily. So well done, Laura. Thank you very much. And Carol. Well, surprise, surprise. First place is for Robin Price ARPS. Congratulations. Um, we selectors you know, unanimously uh, chose this picture uh, for the decisive moment. Everything is actually perfect about the photo. So we're wondering actually how you took it. I hope it's actually a real photo. <laughs> and where were you? Well, this was taken on the uh, on the Chorby River uh, from a photo boat. Uh, and I was, I was watching these elephants. I'm assuming you can hear me. Yes. yes. Oh, great. Great. Uh, we were watching these elephants for a few days and they came across from the main land side across the Chorby River to get to the feeding grounds. But as they came out of the water wet, they sort of rushed to get some dust on them to, to take the wetness off them and get the dust back on them to protect their skins. And we saw this for a couple of days and I thought, I'd love to get that photograph. And I was just lucky one day that this single elephant stood out from what was quite a large herd and that it was a shot. And when, when I processed it, I, I lifted the, the, the dust a little bit and left the elephant quite dark. So it, to try and give it sort of an abstract feel rather than just a straight nature shot. And but, is, is the elephant starting to move backwards? No. No, they're walking into the dust. Oh, they're walking, oh yeah. Throw the dust up and then walk into it so that they're trying to dust on the back. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a brilliant capture. So um, we're really impressed. Thank you. <laughs> and congrats again. Yeah. I'm, I'm just amazed. Thank you. <laughs> I'm shell shocked. Well, be amazed then, Robin, because it's a delightful photograph. So thank you very much for entering that. Now, you will get the heavy trophy <laughs> and Ken will get it engraved for you. And okay. uh, it will be sent down to you when it's when it's it, fully engraved. It'll come to you uh, to be signed for, by the way, uh, Robin. So uh, look out for it. Probably Royal Mail. I'll, I'll sign anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy the, <laughs> enjoy the trophy for, for a year, Robin, and very, very well done. So I'm... very well done to everybody who entered, whether you were in today's selection or not. You know, it... it it is good that we keep entering these folk, these in, these images into our competitions and showing other people our work. Because even if, as I say, you didn't get to be amongst the 25 today, I hope people looked through the selection every month to see what was entered and perhaps didn't agree with the 25 that got through today. Um, because certainly I saw some beautiful work that was um, that was entered and uh, that surprised me that it didn't even get through. So that's the images for this year and the winners, et cetera, for this year. But just before we go, A, I'd like to finally say to our selectors, thank you very much indeed for your contributions. Um, I know that uh, because I was there and, and with you this morning when you were doing the selecting, I know that you had lots of favourites and you had to whittle it down. So you had to work quite hard to get to your final uh, three selections. So thank you for the work that you've done over the course of the few days that we've been together. So before we move on and conclude on today's meeting, 
one of the things that we did this year was our digital imaging competition was very different to usual. And I'd like to get some feedback from members about that, please. So if you complete the DI survey, which is going on at the moment, which is more than just about the competition, it's about everything in digital imaging group. But if you were to complete that for us, it will help us to know whether to repeat this next year or whether to go to a different format that you might prefer. So do please enter this survey for us. Now to find the link, you go to the homepage of the Digital Imaging Group web pages, and there's a link there to take you to the survey. Another thing that's coming up that you may want to engage with, and this is RPS wide. So, um, you know, this is, this is gonna be a great show on August the 19th, it is World Photography Day. So this is not unique to the, to the RPS. This is everywhere around the world. Um, but we in the RPS are celebrating it and you will be able to submit five images. You have to take them on the day, okay? And these up to five e images can go in on August the 19th. So if you only want to put in one, that's fine, but it gives you the opportunity to put in an, a series for the entire day. Um, so I invite you to have a go at that one. The QR code that you see down in, in the corner on the screen right now will take you to the submission website. But as DI members, we will be sending you out some more information about this nearer to the date. So don't worry too much now if you haven't grabbed that QR code, because we will give you some more information, as I say, probably about a week before the actual event. And finally, I'd like to just remind those of you who have perhaps not yet booked that at the end of August, we have a talk from Lee Preston. And I think that's going to be a really interesting talk. He's a very, very good mono photographer, very well known, very gritty work. And he's going to share with us his latest content from his book, which is primarily in Liverpool area. So that's everything that we've got to share with you today. So once more, thank you, selectors, and thank you, Digital Imaging Group members, for entering the competition. And good luck next year. Okay, thanks for now. Bye, guys. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>